soy boricua, pa' que tú lo sepas. Yo soy boricua, pa' que tú lo sepas. They said they needed a Puerto Rican in Allentown. And boy, I, had, I, I was more than honored to come out here and talk to my people. You know, Miss Kamala Harris, the next president of the United States of America. She's been a great friend to us. She's been a great leader. And I believe in her wholeheartedly. That's why I call her my friend. This message is going to be short but sweet. And it's about pride. To my Latinos. Not just to Puerto Ricans. To my Mexican brothers and sisters. The day... I seen Donald Trump come down that escalator and call the Mexicans drug dealers and rapists. He obviously didn't know the Mexican Americans that I know. If that wasn't enough, we had Hurricane Maria where people were walking in water up to waist deep. Families were fighting. I went to Puerto Rico. They had no water. They had no supplies. I went out there to see my family. The man went over there and threw tissue at the people of Puerto Rico. Now, I started this with telling you, where's the orgullo? Where's the pride? Where's your pride if you're still out there talking about you might be voting for somebody or you're not decided. Where's your pride as a Latino? The man went and blocked the aid for Puerto Rico, for Hurricane Maria. What are we doing here? The man blocked the aid for Puerto Rico's recovery. Kamala went out there and dealt with the people. Over 5 million Latino jobs since she's been in office. If that wasn't enough, about a month ago, broke my heart when I seen them say that my Haitian brothers and sisters eat cats and dogs. Well, where's your pride? If you Latino, you Haitian, you black, where's your pride? Where's your pride? The The other day, the other day, this was no coincidence. This was on purpose. Now, I got to explain to y'all. I wish these mics were louder. You know, I'm used to rapping, right? But I got to explain to you. I really want you to feel the moment. I am a sucker for a good laugh. I'm the guy they throw out the movie theater because the movie's too funny and I'm making too much noise. I'm the guy that you can roast me in a comedy club and I will laugh with you all the way out. The other day in Madison Square Garden, that was no joke, ladies and gentlemen. That was no joke. And it was filled with so much hate, hatred of Jewish people, hatred of black people, carving watermelons, calling Puerto Rico an island of garbage. My Latinos, where is your pride? I don't know why, but if I'm speaking to some undecided Puerto Ricans, especially in Pennsylvania, what more they got to do to show you who they are? I'm telling you, 
And the thing about Fat Joe, if you don't know him, he's authentic. He will not sell his soul for nobody in the world. If I tell you Kamala Harris is with us, she's with us. Every single vote matters. Every single vote. And let me tell you something. They've spent billions of dollars in this election. Billions of dollars, wherever you look. Campaign in every state. If you think of how big the United States is, you got Arizona, you got California, you got Memphis, you got... I think it's biblical that the vote comes down to the little guys of Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. This is God's choice. So I'm asking you, if you're undivided, go out there tomorrow and vote for Kamala Harris because I believe in her and I know you can trust her and you can call her your friend as well. Peace, y'all. Fat Joe.